passionate, uh, being the passionate player he is. Um, you know, he thought I was doing something, and you know, I thought he was doing something, and you know, we just weren't on the same page. But you know, I, I love that from a quarterback, young quarterback who who's trying to win. Obviously, we we hashed it out, talked it out. Um, and, uh, you know, we went out there and continued to make plays. Is that part of the, the process, too, in understanding he's a young kid and, and I'm a veteran and we're going to work through this because we, we got a long way to go? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. And uh, Will's a, you know, he's a passionate guy. You know, you got to love that. You probably would have rather it come in a win, but you caught your a pass for your 12,000 receiving yard. How does that make you feel? Oh, man, I can't, um, I can't look at that and take that lightly. That's, that's a big accomplishment. When I started playing this game, I can't say I imagined being in that category. So uh, you know, I got to thank all my quarterbacks who were uh, part of that 12,000 and all my coaches and, you know, just just the teams uh, that I played on as well, Arizona and Houston. And, uh, you know, that's something where, you know, obviously a year like this, it's, uh, it's hard to see something, you know, good. But, you know, that's a personal accomplishment that uh, I'm pretty sure all players and I hope all receivers want to want to have one day and uh, you know just blessed man to be able to be in that position. You guys rushed for almost 200 yards today. If you, if you can continue to be that team, it's going to take this team a lot further forward, isn't it? Of course, absolutely. You know, like I said, I'm not sure where where we are in the playoff standings and all that good stuff, but I know uh, you know there are some some people on this team that uh, you know from from here on in the future. It's, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, a lot of good things happen today. Individual, individual stats going to come. But like more today was like just trying to pull off a team, man. But, uh, you know, things happen. So we ain't going to be so super, super sad. We're just going to keep it rolling. You never want to, obviously, at a teammate's expense, surely like Derek. But at the same time, you get an opportunity here, right, to be able to be yeah, the you, guy. Yeah, you never want a guy to go down. Or you never really want a guy like Derek to leave, you know. Awesome leader, awesome, you know, awesome person. But, uh, you know, things happen. You get sometimes in life you get thrown curveballs. What you gonna do when that, that curveball come? You know what I'm saying? You gonna line up and try to bat it, or you gonna you know just put your bat down? You gotta be able to you gotta be able to adjust to every situation. When Derek goes down, you're it. You're the only running back left on the 50, on the 40, uh, six that plays that. The only pressure came with that at that point. Uh, now it, it wasn't really no pressure because I, I sometimes I be up when he when he's when he's still up. So just you know just. Just waiting on the opportunity. Whenever, I, however, and whenever the opportunity presents itself, I always try to like put my best foot forward. Offensively, Tajay, is today something that you guys can maybe build on? Um, yo, but it's just like critical, like critical third downs, and, you know, critical like certain plays. You know, you know the game come down to, like one or two plays. It was one or two plays. I wish I could have it back. I wish I could see it differently, see it differently through a different set of lens, different set of eyes. What are the guys we've been talking to in here? Played for a while, even so, never really been a part of a game like that with so many injuries, weird plays, and going into overtime. How difficult is it? every loss is difficult to come away on the short end of a game like this. How tough is that? It was very difficult, man. It was very difficult. It was, it's some plays that we wish we had had back on offense. We wish we had it back on defense, and also in the special teams too. But uh, man, you know, things happen. Things happen. It's, you just gotta adjust to them. We ain't finna sit here and cry about everything that happened. We finna, you know, move forward. Had so many variables up in the air in a game like that. Uh, zero. First time. Um, you know, we've gotten some reps with Tanny in practice, um, but there's just obviously a different rhythm, especially when you get everything with your snapper and holder. Um, I've never had to punt, so first for that, or I guess in the NFL. Like I said, it was Pac-10 a long time ago. Did the, but, change, um, sorry, did the change in operation affect the extra point? That, that, that yeah, I mean, a little bit. I mean, there's always some, some little um, kind of nuances that go into it that, you know, that, and then I actually went down there before the overtime kick and, uh, I, I had them do one real quick so I could see, and I gave them a little pointer on it, and we made the overtime one. So, kind of um, wish I would have done that earlier, but there was, you know, I was kind of doing the punting thing, getting ready for that, and there wasn't a whole ton of time to kind of go over there and, and just kind of look at one. Um, so, that's, I think, the biggest part of it that I wish I had back was just like, don't worry about the punches, catch it and punt it, and go worry about the points. Um, but um, you know, I feel terrible for something. They, they show replay on the on the PAT. Did it, did it just kind of sail uh, on your? What, what was? Um, it, it was. Um, I can go into a lot of detail about this. Uh, 
you know, I just I just got to put it in. That's the bottom line. I got to make that. Um, you know, and then like I said, we just made a quick adjustment in the over, overtime there, and um, you know, we ended up putting in the overtime one through. What was the point? Uh, just a little a little lean on the hole. That's about it. How much do you work during the week? Like, does Ryan hold a couple during the course of the week? Uh, a couple during the course? No, I I don't punt any. Uh, it's strictly emergencies. Um, and it's it's really the same thing with, with Tanny. We've got a, a handful since I've been here. So um, I think going forward, it'll probably. And then, you know, obviously, we got a few when Tanny was down with the, the backup holder then. Um, but, you know, we're, I, I think going forward, maybe I, I should probably just get one a week with him in the period just to make sure we're, we're on point. Um, you know, but then he's got other stuff he's got to take care of too. So that's tough, especially in critical moments at the end. But uh, I was telling them earlier, it's the next man up, and that's that's what this league is. And you know, I'm proud of the way the guys that, like were able to come in and make a make a little name for themselves, the way they played and the way they fought. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think we could hold our hats on that. So yeah, I mean, Big Jeff goes down. Obviously, other guys like Stonehouse, yeah, Eric Henry. Stony. But what is that mentality as a guy like you, as a next man up, when you're presented those opportunities? Yeah, man, I love it. I mean, obviously, you don't want to see those guys go down. That's always tough, but uh, I love moments like that. So, you know, to get that opportunity to go in and just help try to win the game, you know, special. So, appreciate you. What do you kind of take from a kind of game like that going down to the, the last wire like that? You know, like I said, it's a street fight, and uh, I love the way everyone battled. Uh, you know, proud of that. I think we keep building on that, and we'll be all right. Going into prime time next week, what do you guys kind of look forward to there? Uh, yeah, prime time. You know, everyone's going to be watching. Uh, I think we're going to get back this week, you know, fix the little things that we had, you know, game of inches. You saw it today. Um, just the little things. we got to get the little things right, we'll be all right.